If you're a Twitch streamer out there, you're wondering how to take your passion and convert it into a full-time career on Twitch. But to get there, you first have to reach the goal of Twitch affiliate, which is why in this video right here, I'm gonna show you the top five ways to reach Twitch affiliate in 2020 really fast, and here we go. If you wanna become a Twitch affiliate, you first have to understand what the requirements are. First, you have to reach 50 followers, stream for eight hours a day, stream on seven different days, and have an average of three viewers. Also, please remember, you have to make sure that you complete these four requirements within 30 calendar days. Now, for anybody that's new to Twitch's platform and you're not really sure what Twitch affiliate is or what it unlocks, it's a great way for you to open financial opportunities as Twitch affiliate will allow you to receive income by accepting subscriptions from viewers, enabling bits so other viewers can cheer on your channel. Affiliates can even earn revenue from advertisements played on their channel. All right, now that you're all caught up, let's dive into the tips that are gonna help you crush it. Number one is check your analytics. It's important to know that right off the bat, numbers don't lie. Make sure you look at the data to accurately evaluate how you are doing. Data can help you formulate actionable insights and uncover something that you did that may help or may hinder your growth. Let's just say perhaps you gained five new followers in a week or you had a bigger concurrent number for that week. Well, this is a great time to ask yourself questions to see what may be helping you with that growth. Take a look at asking yourself great questions like, what games did I play? How often did I stream? Was I engaging to my audience more often? What time of the day did I see the most influx? Look, you have to learn and evaluate which activities and actions had the biggest impact on your goals. When you find that out, hey, guess what? You can refine and adjust from there. Trust me, that's gonna be super powerful for you. Make sure you collaborate and build relationships. Look, this one's probably gonna be one of the hardest ones because it requires you to come out of your shell but you have to. If you wanna grow, don't be afraid to reach out to people directly via Twitter or Discord. This is a great opportunity to get real honest criticism and feedback. Never be afraid to ask for advice, ask for insight, ask for strategies. This is one of the best ways that you will learn how to grow bigger and better. The best thing about building relationships is you're really building this support structure that you can help each other grow. Hey, you can start tossing raids and hosts and they can start tossing it back to you. As well as you can be more engaging in the stream and when they visit yours, they're gonna be more engaging and more supportive. This is one of the best things that's really gonna help you grow your concurrent average over time. One of the best things about building relationships that no one ever talks about is these relationships soon develop into friendships. I've made some of the best friends on Twitch and you can too. Look, I don't care how small you are, someone out there cares about you and your content, which is why you need to create a community. When you create a community, you're giving a place for your members to interact with you and interact with other people. So that way they have a common place to enjoy the content that you're creating. Now there are a ton of places that you can craft, create and mold a community that will be outside of Twitch. Think things like Discord, Twitter, Instagram, Reddit, forums, there are a ton. Do whichever one you think you're gonna put the most energy into because it does take time to develop these community hubs for people to come in and have a fun time. Regardless of whatever platform you pick and choose to grow with, you wanna make sure you build your community with like-minded people that are welcoming of new people coming in because that's the only true way you're gonna continue to grow your community and see new numbers on your Twitch channel. Please remember, when it comes to growing a community, think about that word, community. It's not a click. If you start growing a click, you're gonna create walls and barriers that really prevent new people coming in and you're gonna plateau with your growth. When you start becoming a Twitch streamer, you're putting yourself out there, which is really difficult because you may be shy, you may be nervous, or you might have anxiety. But at some point you have to get a little bit past that because our next tip is all about attending events and conferences and meeting people. When you can attend conferences and events, you're really opening up the door for new business opportunities, contracts, collaborations, sponsorships, affiliations, you name it. It can happen when you go to these events. 
Now, obviously the cost to attend anything like this is a lot higher, but the return on investment could be huge down the road for you. When it comes to figuring out if you should attend an event or a conference, you really have to be honest with yourself and find out what your end goals are. Hey, is it going just to have fun? That's okay, but it may not be worth the expense. Is it going to figure out collaborations, have meetings with new sponsorships, or maybe get to know a new group of community members so that way you can grow to be bigger and better? These are the questions you have to ask yourself. Likewise, if you do attend a conference, make sure you do your research before you go. Figure out what companies are gonna be there? Is anybody looking for sponsorships? If they are, don't be afraid to reach out to them in an email to see if you can schedule some time. Are you gonna be meeting other streamers or other particular companies that may be interested in bringing people on for a team or a sponsorship or affiliation? Hey, you really need to know your elevator pitch so that way you can sell yourself properly to those particular types of opportunities. One of the biggest pushbacks I get from a lot of people is, why should I go to a conference or event when I'm a small streamer? Who would wanna work with me? Look, you need to understand opportunities arise for streamers of all shapes and sizes out there, okay? It's all about how you can market yourself or how much potential influence you have out there or what's your target demographic. These are the things that are really interesting to all these business opportunities that could come your way. But it comes back to, again, how you can market and sell yourself. There's no way around this one. Social media is king. Now I know there's a ton of different platforms out there that can help you grow, but we really recommend that you have a Twitter account. And it comes down to a simple reason. It is the most popular one when it comes to content creation in the gaming sector. When it comes to generating content on your Twitter account, it is okay to start simple. Don't be afraid to start promoting your handles for other accounts. Don't be afraid to promote your Twitch channel about what games you're playing or when you go live. Don't be afraid to post pictures of yourself or keep in communication with other people outside of your Twitch channel. This is a great opportunity for you and you should take advantage of it. If there's one thing I want you to all understand, there is no one way to reach success. However, these five tips are pretty much consistent among all streamers out there that will help you increase your viewer base, your concurrent numbers, and your followers over time. So really start to learn how to use these all to your advantage, but never be afraid to experiment. That's where you can really see huge growth and explosion. So give it a shot. If you're just starting your live streaming career and you're not sure what to do or how to do anything, or perhaps you've hit a plateau and you're not sure how to break out above it, it's okay. I got your back. On every Tuesday and Thursday on my Twitch channel at Wild for Games, I do Twitch channel reviews and breakdowns. I'll be more than happy to help you out. If you need any more awesome tutorials or perhaps just a general point in the right direction, that is where Streamlabs has your back. I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna put two videos up here on screen. They're gonna show you everything you need to know about Streamlabs OBS that'll make you a master so that way your streams will be flawless. Until next time, my friends, take care and of course, peace.